Hello everyone, and welcome to the corner of my kitchen. I am officially back from break. I'm feeling good, I'm feeling rested, I'm feeling fired up. I don't know why I punched you, I'm really sorry. That was a lot. 2022 is already a lot. I also kind of dyed my hair a little bit brunette. It looks really blonde here. But we are today doing a roundup 2021 best and worst kitchen gadgets. And you know, we have tested a lot over this last year, like so many kitchen gadgets. Hands up if you wanna eat a s'more with me. Me. Oh my gosh. That's crazy. Uh, you look great. Thanks, I think so. Aha! Yeah. No, no. How hard was it to do? <laughs> <laughs> I can't help myself, I'm a sucker for them. And while we did have a lot that were full on dumpster fire, we do also have a few gems that I continuously reach for and I think that are actually really fantastic. So I figured we would talk about them today. Do a little look back on 2021 videos anyway. For the most part, I don't want to look back on 2021 at all. If you're new here, welcome. Introduce yourself down below and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it in general. Subscribe if you haven't already and let us dive into the list. Let's start with a good one. I went full on and I'm not even kidding you. I like went through all of them and um, highlighted the ones that I liked and the ones that I didn't. Is that a little over the top? Yes, but I'm a little over the top. Oh, my sister's calling. Hello? Hi. I'm in the middle of filming. Say hello to the internet. <laughs> she says hi. Let's start on a positive note. Let's start with something good. We're gonna start with the one that I'm the most excited about. I don't care if it's a little extra and over the top. I don't care at all. It's a waffle maker, but not just any waffle maker. Lego waffle maker. I mean, technically not Lego. It's like brick building waffle maker. Non-branded. Basically you put the batter in and then it makes these little bricks and then you can build things with them. You can build these like waffle towers. I saw like unicorns on the Amazon page, like a whole bunch of other stuff. I want to build a castle. <gasps> they look like little Lego pieces. Oh cool. <laughs> Lego pieces. Yeah. That wasn't enough enthusiasm. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, That's all I wanted. <gasps> oh my gosh, look at the other side. Perfect. Oh my gosh. All right, so should we try it just stacking it on this side? Sure. Boom. This is incredible. Hold on, we need a big window. No one's gonna be able to see out of that. True. Sure. Okay, okay, okay. This is honestly so much fun. We made a beautiful castle. Thank you. It is you, a beautiful. You made a beautiful castle. I, yes. Thank you so much. We've used this a ton since we got it and um, the kids really enjoy it. It's like a fun little breakfast treat on the weekends and stuff and um, super easy to use, clean, all that fun stuff. And um, yeah, it was fun. Really glad that we got that. Also really glad that that worked. You know when sometimes <laughs> we test things and my hopes are like way up here and then they go crashing down and burn. I don't know why I set myself up with so much hope, but I do. Another one that I really liked was the electric <laughs> pepper and salt grinder. I actually ended up taking the salt out of the salt part because we use our salt, our salt crock right here. We use flaky salt. Again, super extra in the kitchen, but if you have not tried flaky salt, I will link it for you guys. It is so good. Anyway, I actually ended up filling both of them with pepper and then I gave one to my brother and sister-in-law and uh, they use it. So um, this, I mean, it's fairly straightforward. It's just like a, an electric pepper grinder, you know? Right? But you can adjust how coarse of a grind you want and that uh, still ended up getting pepper all over my counter. You know what that pepper grinder is good for? What? One-handed operation. If I'm holding a baby or something and tip it over, yeah. And also, it's fun flashing lights. Babies love that. Also, yeah. Also, yes. I was gonna say that it's really good when you make your whiskey peppercorn sauce because you use a lot of pepper in a peppercorn sauce. So um, yeah, no, really like that. Let's do a fail. What did I not like? You know what? <laughs> this is my own fault, but um, there are a couple here that I don't actually own anymore. Typically what happens if there is a product that I purchase for you know, testing out in a video and uh, we end up not liking it, I will see if there's anyone within my family that would enjoy it and make use of it. So it's actually with my sister um, because they enjoy it. And it is the Yonana soft serve ice cream maker thing. Oh, we tried so many recipes with that, with so many. Okay. <laughs> Yonana's aggressive. <laughs> Yonana's aggressive. 
She loud. Why is she yelling at me? I'm just trying to make salsa. Here we go. Well, that's terrible. Oh my gosh, Christopher, remember the lemon one? It was very tart. Oh. No, I love lemons, so I should like this, but I'm a little scared now. Cheers. Cheers. Ooh. <coughs> oh, that was not enough. <laughs> what was that? Didn't like it. Not a big fan. Also, I, honestly, it's good if you like bananas, which my sister does. If you don't like bananas, bananas, don't like bananas, don't buy that. It does not work well for other fruits. I know it says in the name, like it's Yonana, it's banana, but they had like a full booklet filled with other things that you could use instead of bananas and they do not work. So yeah. That was a bust. That's another one we liked. Ooh, the veggie cutters. These guys right here, I tested these for, I think it was the back to school one. And I wasn't sure because I had tested a bunch of different things that were like creating faces and you know all the cute Pinterest moms that like create all those like pretty sandwich creations and ah, they're so beautiful. Well, this is my attempt to be like 1 16th of that. And it's just, it cuts out fruits and vegetables in fun shapes. Honestly, it works really well. It's super easy to clean as well, which I really appreciate. And it's sharp enough that it's gonna like cut through things as well. I've even tried it for carrots. Like you have to cut them a little on the thin side, like don't cut through a whole carrot, you know? But they have a whole bunch of different shapes and sizes, hearts, ducks, flowers. Some of them I just, I can't even tell. One looks like Toad from Mario Kart. But if I'm in the mood for feeling like, like a little bit Pinteresty or just wanna up my, <laughs> lunch making game. That's what I do. Now let's do another Terrible one. Oh yeah. The automatic pan stirrer. I knew this had to be too good to be true, but I still had to test it out. And basically it's something that in theory you're supposed to be able to put into a pan and it has like three legs that spin and rotate so you don't get anything stuck to the bottom. So the thinking is that it would be really good for soups and stews and sauces and things to keep it constantly moving as you're trying to cook it and you're busy with other things. Oh my gosh, I just wanna watch this all day. And I loved the idea, loved it. But theory and execution did not match up with this one. I think I tried it with like a, maybe a bit of a heavier sauce because that's what we would use. Okay, I'm gonna turn it off first. I'm gonna stick it into this sauce. Now I'm gonna turn it on. It's like moving a tiny little bit. All right, well, I guess this is too thick. Too thick of a meat sauce. So that was a bust. I was really sad about that one. Maybe it's good if you wanna just stir some broth. That's about it though. That's all I would use that for. Next up, another goodie. One that actually we used this morning. And it's this guy. It is a whipped cream canister thing where you basically just fill it with whipping cream and then you like spray it and then it comes out as whipped cream. It's pretty cool. And I'm just supposed to put this on and twist it. I think that's what's supposed to happen. Now I have to shake it. I don't know why I'm so scared that this is gonna explode on me. Careful. Christopher, don't scare me. Nothing's happening. Ah, that didn't work very well. Mm. Did I put it on enough? I feel like it, it made like a sound. My first attempt wasn't great, but Chris had one of these like, <laughs> ah! Christopher. <laughs> it worked. You started. Okay, but it's not pretty. So. Pretty good. <laughs> I, just, I wanna have, I'm gonna get it all over myself. Here we go. This is better. Oh, mm. we have used this so much. And the only other thing to note is that you do need to buy these like little nitrous oxide canisters essentially, but you get a bunch in here. I just got this off Amazon and like we're down to three. Like we've used this so often and it's just a fun thing and the kids really enjoy it. It comes with a bunch of different like head nozzle things. So you could do like different shapes and it's just, it's super fun. Is it completely necessary? No, but really nothing that I talk about in kitchen guides is really that necessary to be honest. They're just really fun. Now I want to talk about a product that in general, I really like and I'm glad I got. However, I do not like them for the purpose 
that they are intended for, if that makes sense. And that is um, these little silicone cups. You've probably seen these. They're muffin or cupcake liners that you can use. They're silicone, reusable, dishwasher safe, all that fun stuff. And um, I remember testing these because I was like, oh, they're so pretty and fun and what a great way to, you know, be able to pack muffins and cupcakes and things in my kid's lunch and uh, not get it, I was gonna say not get it messy, but um, it'll still be messy as kids. But I just really like the concept, okay? <laughs> However, in practice, having these and trying to wash them is near impossible. I don't know if you have any suggestions, but I have tried turning them inside out and then putting them in, in the dishwasher. I've even tried to wash them by hand and just all of the batter and everything gets into these like little grooves in here. And it's just like, that's not, that's not helping me. You know, like I'd rather just not use liners at all. However, what we do use them for is for sorting things or um, Connor will use them in like a little play kitchen and he'll use them for like cook cooking and stuff like that. You know? Two-year-olds are so cute. We'll use them for sorting objects or for pointing out colors or for stacking or just anything in like a kids play kind of arena. These are really fantastic for, but not for baking, not, not so much. <laughs> now let's talk about this, this thing. I saw this in a TikTok and I was like, that is so cool. I was like, I don't even know what this is for and I want it. And basically, if you can believe it, this thing is a whisk. Technically a whisk for eggs. I don't know why I'm saying whisk. It is a whisk and it's supposed to break up things a lot faster and kind of amalgamate all the ingredients together. If you're making a batter, for example, it's going to pull everything together a lot faster because of these little balls on the end. Okay, here we go. It's very loud, I'm sorry. Oh, you know what? This actually whisked it together a lot faster, like a lot faster. I can see why people enjoy this. <laughs> that was really fast. We end up using this a lot for like batters and things like that. I find that it mixes everything together really nicely, but it's also really good for eggs too. Easy to clean, um, it just looks cool. <laughs> and then I wanna talk about a cleaning product, kind of. It's these Swedish dish cloths and you get a big pack of them on Amazon and these do a really good job at cleaning. So they start out kind of stiff like this, but as soon as you soak them in water, then they become really malleable and easy for cleaning. They do have a little bit of a texture to them, which helps to get things up off of tables and, and chairs <laughs> if, you're, if you're like my kids. But it's not rough that I would be worried about it on you know more sensitive surfaces or anything like that. They wash really easily and um, yeah, these are really, really awesome. I really enjoy them. And that is our roundup. Stay tuned for next week because we are going to be going through all of the overly sponsored products because there are a lot there that I have used so much since we talked about them. And so I'm really excited to give you like an update. We need to chat about them. And also some of the bad ones because you know, that's also important. And if you're new, our overly sponsored series is where I buy a whole bunch of products that are super overly sponsored. I mean, it was pretty self-explanatory, but I feel like we tested a lot in 2021, so it was important to do like a best in worst, you know? So stick around for that. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you guys are having a fantastic weekend and I will see you all next week.